plant-based milk, uh, my favorite part of raw food diet. It's a very easy thing to do, just going to quickly show you how to do it. Um, it's nice to soak your nuts, basically you can do this, you can make basically uh, milk out of any kind of nut, whether it's cashews, almonds, hazelnuts, pecans. Um, I soak it not because to activate the enzymes, but purely because so it could break down nicely for me and to have, you know, to be nicely uh, hydrated. Um, so basically it's really easy, follow this process. Remember, these jars, again, it's exactly one cup. So I would do, look, one cup of nuts, simple rule of thumb, two cups of water. If you want to make it thicker, add less water. If you want to make it thinner, add more water. It's really easy. And basically what we're trying to do here, when you're replicating anything, you want to replicate it well. And basically that, what that means is that we want to uh, make sure that we replicate uh, what milk usually tastes like. And milk has quite a few different types of elements such as that sort of uh, that sweetness, it's got the saltiness. But to get that right and to make it quite nice and pleasant, it's, uh, I'm going to add some vanilla beans. Vanilla, just simply scrape the vanilla beans here with the back of the knife so you don't damage the beans itself because you could use it for other things. And it just scrapes easier and it doesn't break the beans in half because of the if you use the blade part that's what would happen easy basically one banana bean pinch of balanese sea salt or any other sea salt that you've got a couple of bit, pinches in there i like it I'm a, i have a salty palate and basically that's it what i'm going to do is add a little bit of light agave in here that's it i am replicating what real milk tastes like and basically here I've got a butter mix. It's easy to use. Uh, any blender would do the job or a good uh, high speed blender. Vitamix, Sunbeam is another good one that you can pick up quite nice and cheaply. And basically I'm just gonna blend this so it's nice and smooth. Fluffy, that's how you want it. Nice and aerated. Now the thing with um, cashew is that you don't need to put it through a nut milk bag because it doesn't have any pulp. Not like hazelnuts or almonds, but I'm just gonna show you in case you are using almonds or hazelnuts. It's really easy, basically a nut milk bag. You can also use a cheesecloth. As you can see, I have used this particular one quite often. And just pour it in there. And the best way to wash these is to wash it immediately. Fill it up with water, put it back in the blender, was it, done, clean. And basically that's what you would do. And you just squeeze it out through this. Don't be too hard, nice and gentle. And what it will do is that it will actually get the, all the beautiful vanilla flavor through, but what the nut milk bag will do is that it will stop the vanilla beans, the seeds, to go through. So you could always add the beans, the seeds, once you've done this, which is easy. And basically, let's say you do that. Now, another thing that I would like to do is to show you how to kind of start being creative with your nut milk. Uh, here I've got lakuma. It's my one of my favorite superfoods. The flavor of this lakuma is just beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is pour this back in here. Fluffy. And now I'm just going to add a tablespoon of lakuma. Wires it up a bit more, not long. And that's it. Now you've got mm, lakuma nut milk. Now you can take this even further. It's getting messy here. You can take this further by adding two tablespoons or one tablespoon of cacao, depending if you want it to be a sort of a, a milk chocolate or a dark chocolate drink. 
But here, you can make your nice cacao chocolate drink. One and a half tablespoons for me. And then, I'm going to add a little bit of this infused saffron agave that we did in our last couple of videos. And put a bit of that. And that's it. And what I'm going to do, now the trick with this is, if you want it to be warm, you basically go on high speed for about two minutes. And if you go for two minutes, it's nice and warm. The blender warms it up. But that's it, it's really easy. You could get up in the morning and you could have your fix. Whether it's just nut milk, super nut milk, or hot chocolate. Basically, a nice bottle of goodness.